Well, hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BUV Gaming, and today we're gonna check out One Line Letters and Codes, which is a new game by New Dawn Game Studio. You guys might remember back in, I think, January, I did a little video of a game called One Line, so this is a new game in that series. It is largely, largely similar, but it does have some new mechanics, and it also introduces this new little feature that you can solve this letter or find all the missing words for this letter by using the solutions from your puzzles. So as we solve the different puzzles, we can put them in here and then we can actually uh, find out what this letter says. So it's a nice little added feature. So let's try and go back and um, well, one line is... Uh, well, tells you exactly what the game is all about. You have to draw one continuous line from point A to point B, uh, taking various mechanics into account. Uh, so there will be certain blocks on the board that will affect how the line will move or which direction we can go in. But we'll see when we get into it. Uh, you can adjust the, the music and other sounds. You can switch between window and full screen. And then there is a credit section as well and that is pretty much it and then you can close the game and then of course we have our little letters here there are 40 levels in the game and if i remember correctly 10 achievements to get if you like achievements so let's try out the first level here left click once to enable disable the line or use directional arrows so we can use uh, just arrows i think you can use yes you can also use wasd if you want to or you can use the mouse so you just click on it and then you drag right through like this mm -hmm. okay so that was a level one nice okay so uh, i think we can just do this right and for right now of course it's fairly oh 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 you weren't quite ready for that <laughs> it's fairly simple um, there are no other mechanics right here, but uh, very soon there will be. So we are just going to do this. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so we can only go one way here, right? So we probably want to start over here, maybe. And then we can go like this. Mm -hmm. And then... Oh, okay, so now, I don't even remember seeing this one in the previous one, but maybe it was. I don't really remember, I don't remember the exact details for which kind of, yeah, there were some arrows and things. Um, that kind of dictated where we could go. There we go, oh, no, okay, you have to make sure to give it a moment to register that you are actually there, because you don't have to hold down the, the mouse key, you just have to click once and then move your mouse, so you don't even have that strain that you have to hold down the mouse key, you just click, and then you can just kind of move it back and forth, and as you could see, you could actually go back again, so if you make a mistake, it's not like you have to restart uh, the second you make a mistake to start over, the, you can just move it right back again, right? So if I click here to activate it, I can always go back and then try another path. Uh, see, so without having to start over. So that is actually really nice. Um, okay, so uh, I feel like, can I actually leave it again? Yes, I can, it seems. Okay, so if I click one more, I can kind of get my mouse cursor to use. That's nice. Um so if I go around here, then I can go in there. I have to make sure not to block myself. Oh, then there's this. Okay, I think I want to go this way around. Nope, nope, no, 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 I don't. Okay, because we kind of have to end up up here, don't we? Because there's no way to go back, so I have to end up there. Hmm, how do I do that? Because I also need to get in here and get back out again. Um, <laughs> okay, so if we go around... Uh, nope, that's not going to be good. How do I do that? If I go around like this... 
See, I have to go through here somehow, but I feel like no matter what I do, I'm gonna end up blocking myself somehow. If we go around like this, then we have to go out this way if we want to end up over there, right? We can't go this way because then we lock ourselves into a corner. If I go this way, mm, then I can go all the way around, but then I miss this one. I can go this way. Mm, that might be... Uh... Oh, yep, yep, yep. That might be an option, actually. That might be an option if we go around like this. <laughs> See, just talking my way through it, then I can figure it out. <laughs> uh, okay. So, again, I feel like we have to end up there, right? Because we can't go back again. It's kind of a dead end, so that has to be the place we want to end up. What if we go like this? Do, 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 do. There we go. Cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, no. Well, yep, there's an obvious dead end right there, so that has to be where we want to go. And what if we go like this? Then, uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, see, now we have a problem because if I go here, I can't go back in there. I have to find a way. Okay, so I have to go up there first, I think, somehow. And get that kind of. Clear out. Uh, what if I go down like this? Uh, no. Mm -mm -mm. It's still gonna cause me problems. Because then if I go here, I end up with a dead end right there that I don't want to have. What if I go like that? That would work. And then, like this. He, <laughs> Yep, got it! Okay. Hmm. Let's see, let's see, let's see. That would be our dead end again, right? We can't get back out again, so we want to get over there somehow. Okay, what if we try and go this way? Uh... It's not gonna work because if I go up like this, I end up with a dead end right there. So that's not good. Okay. And what if we do this? That could work. And then something like. Oh, no, we want to have this too. Yep. And down there. Oh yeah, okay, so now we have some new mechanics. If we go over there, it's gonna bring it all the way across, right? So there we go, you have to take that into account. Oh, achievement unlocked 10 cats. Nice, okay, so we got the first 10 here completed and that is probably a good hint to go and take this out. So we got a whole bunch of things here, cool. So how does this work? We have all our solutions right here. So I something. Oh, we need a line there. Okay. And I do actually have it, right? That's number one. So, oh, then I have to drag it up there. What does that mean if I do this? Oh, okay. Then I have to click on that. Oh, achievement unlocked first piece. I don't. Okay. So this would be number two. So they are in line, it seems like. And then we click there. I don't love you. Oh no, that doesn't sound good. Not exactly what you would want to hear, is it? At least not if it's you expect it to be a love letter with all these uh, <laughs> with all these hats. I don't love you anymore. Oh, this is gonna make me sad. Okay, let's try and do one more. I would be, uh, okay, let's do one more here, number four. I would be lying if I something, 
Okay, but I'm not gonna solve any more of this now. In case any of you guys want to play this game yourselves, then I don't really want to spoil this entire letter. Uh, well, it wouldn't be in the entire, but it will still give us a good deal of it if I keep going. So let's not do that. We are just gonna, if we can. Oh, we have to actually. Oh, we have to actually do the first 10 um, to uh, move on to the next part. Okay. Well, I guess, I think I'm just going to fill these in and then kind of cut off the rest because I just don't want to spoil it for you guys. And then we're going to try and do another couple of levels after that. Okay, so that gave me an achievement again for solving 10 pieces and now we can move on. So you do kind of have to do, or get the first 10 and then fill it in before you can move on. Uh, so it might be a good a deal to kind of do 10 at a time or something when you're doing it but you can also just go and fill in one at a time of course but let's just try and do a little bit more see if there's any new mechanics that's gonna be introduced it might be that they are gonna be a little bit later okay that's a kind of of course a little bit of a problem don't want to do that uh, let's um do let's move up this way right and go around and then there we go much better might be a little while before we get more stuff. Aha, so... Mm, I don't think we want to start with this arrow because then we're going to block the other one, right? So what I'm thinking that we're going to do is go around like this and then we're going to take this arrow because then we can still go from there. And then go up there. You kind of have to click when it hits the end wall. You have to click once more to kind of pick it up. Okay, so, oh, it's getting, the levels are getting bigger here. Mm, don't have any obvious dead end, do we? Okay, so definitely, well, this could be a dead end if we don't pick it up. If we just go straight down here, then we end up with a dead end there, which I'm not sure I want. So let's just grab it, and um, I'm not going to want to go straight down and take this arrow because then we're going to end up all the way down there, right? So that's not so good. Then we kind of block either one or the other side. So I think we want to end up with this using this arrow right before we use the other one. Mm. Uh, which means I don't want to go there just yet. I want to go around like this, I think. And... How can I do this? Hmm. Okay, if we do something like that. And... Ooh, 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 then we can go... Okay, maybe I actually want to... No, I don't really want to start with the other arrow either, so... Hmm... Because then I'm gonna block it. I'm gonna block block it off. If I go like this and then try and take that arrow, and if I go like this, I can't come back and take it. So if I take this arrow now, I'm gonna block the other one because then I can't do. I can only do one side, right? I can only do this side or this side if this one goes all the way up there. So yeah, that might not be what we want to do. Let's just try and go around. Um. Hmm. What if I start this way instead? And do this. Right? Then we have one half. And then we have all this. Aha! Yep, there we go. So level 13. Cool. Hmm. Oh boy. Well, we have a dead end right there, so that would be where we want to end up. So I definitely don't want to go up that way. How do I best end up there, though? Uh, I think I have to go this way somehow. Oh, but I do have that. Let's go down and then go like... But then, if I do this, I would end up blocking a whole bunch of stuff. And we end up all the way over on the right. Mm. Okay, so how do can I best do this? 
think we need to go all the way up here because then we can go down here and take you without blocking anything. Then we can go around. And then I think we need to go around like this, right? And then go up and then take you. And then there we go. Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. So new mechanics. So this is like a little teleport, if I remember correctly. If we go through one of these, then um, we end up over at the other one, right? So now we're over here. There we go. Cool. Uh, and then, of course, gradually it will make so you have more and more different mechanics to take into account. So it gets trickier and trickier. Hmm. Well, let's try and go there, and, but, but, if I do that, then I have like three, or at least two dead ends. If I go up here, we have a dead end there, and we have a dead end over here, so that is not gonna work. I'm gonna have to do something else. Uh... Okay, so what if we do this? Uh, no, mm -mm. That, that's not quite gonna work. Let's try and go. Oh, let's let's go back. Uh, I think we can just do this. Mm hmm. I can't go down there. Oh, how old? Oh. So maybe I want to go this way around and stand up. How do I do that? Without creating a dead end. Yeah, okay, if we do this and then we come out over here, then we can do it. Yes. Oh boy. This game is so much fun. I'm really enjoying this. Um, but I, I'm going to end it right here. That was already 16 levels out of the, what, 40 that the game offers. But it is a very, very cheap game. Generally, these little puzzle games are. Uh, so it just offers you a few hours of fun, uh, which I really like. Well, fun if you like this type of game, of course. And a little bit of practice for your brain, which is always good. Um, and then I really like this little mechanic with the... Um, with the letters over here, uh, or the letter, not the letters, but uh, the, the letter, right? That's just a nice little thing uh, that has been added in this one. And then, yeah, then there are some new mechanics in this one compared to the first one. We haven't seen everything, of course, in this video. But it was just to introduce you guys to this little game and uh, something for you to check out if you like this type of little puzzle game. So uh, let me know what you thought about it in, in the comments below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Do take care and happy gaming.